okay? Because LCID, as much as it's up here now, it was showing up or has been showing up on different areas of the wiretapper, right? You know, if you go through, and that's how we originally found LCID on September 21st, let's see open interest, on under open interest. And so get a feel for how much these things are moving. You know, let's go also the original idea that was shared uh, when Pablo first suggested LCID. We talk about this, and this is a perfect example of 10 different traders are gonna be in the exact same trade, and you will get 10 different results every single time. And this is such a good example because so, so many people took this trade in some way, shape, or form. Yep. Yeah. So when I get questions of what your returns are, the reason I can't answer them is because if I answered what the returns are, it would have no direct reflection on your trading. It just wouldn't. I don't run a fund. If you if I ran a fund and Pablo and I were managing a hundred million dollars and we would have audited financial statements, we would have returns because you would we would have to. But we are managing money. And so if somebody buys Lucid, and when we first started talking about Lucid, we saw right these but they have a lot more strikes now. Yeah. yeah man. We started talking about it when it was selling off hard. Right. What was the, what was the original? What were those 30 sensors? It, it, they were the uh, 22 and a half for, yeah, for somewhere around like 30 cents or a dollar. I have so, the, the ones I bought were the 20s, but yeah, the trade we, we shared at the time, 22 halves, a lot less than what I paid. I For the 20s, I paid... Dollar thirty. I sent you a pick yesterday. Yeah. So the idea is that the first idea was, was Lucid is going to be the next Neo, and we both believe in just <laughs> the the electric cars moving forward. Uh, Lucid is is doing phenomenally well. But if you just joined us and you're still learning how we approach trading, and you bought these for thirty cents, and now they're worth four dollars. God bless. Good for you. Lock it in, right? Make make money. There's nothing more important than building your trading account. The more you build your trading account, the more flexibility you're going to have to get into different trades moving forward. Now, for somebody like Pablo, he's most likely going after bigger fish than you're going after. He's not in the point of just building his account and I go back to, if you go to the YouTube channel, there's a great video, it's a 15 minute video, how Pablo started, how he grew his account. And the difference between trading then, which was more of a grind, or as Pablo likes to say, getting a little scrappy. Right? <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> so that's different than I think Lucid's gonna be the next Neo, where you might, get in and then we even talked about this in the discord you get in because of this along with the wiretapper then it gets up here great place to take some profits this is what i mean by get on prints maybe you took the profits you let it go and you take some more profits well now can you buy back something that you covered if you can't maybe you be a little bit more disciplined and wait until you're making a profit on your cover. And so that's the different mentality that people have to use. Lucid is a buy the next time we see this without a doubt. Should somebody get in Lucid right now? Well, somebody who sold something up here, yes, go ahead. Great, you know, you've earned the right. But if you've been in the trade from 17 and you watched it to go to 28 and then it drops back down back down at 25 you haven't earned the right to add to your position like okay. or an, another example too of, for, which is like my case let's say you started out with a 10 lot uh, right there at 17 and right now or as of yesterday you you had 
three contracts left because you've been selling on the way up. So that that's another example of you know, you've built a bunch of capital and you still have part of a position on. And so I'm without knowing what Pablo did, I'm telling you he didn't stay back. He didn't stay in October. He most likely, hopefully I'm right, went out because he wanted more time to stay in the trade. Hopefully I'm right. Yep. Yep. Yay! <laughs> Absolutely. I, so, I went out a bit further than November, but yes. I, I thought I, I was taking a little of risk by just saying November, so I was hedging myself a little bit. <laughs> I, but yeah, the the point is this trade: buying ten, selling seven, locking in profits. When it was time to add, he now earned the right to go out further because this finances his position. And I am guessing he risked the capital that he, he's already up. So he locks in a break even worst case scenario if Lucid goes under his strike within however many days he's in the trade, but he's putting himself in position to make Neil money if it becomes Neil. Yep, and I, my risk is pretty much already covered. So uh, I'm purely playing this off of profit money and if it, if it continues to go up you know i'm, I'm going to take that um the options and pretty much do the same thing lock in money at all times but that but but i always have some position on to take advantage of, of, of continued movement right like uh, yeah that's and and that's why and we encourage everybody to get on here and ask questions. If you have questions and, and the coaching students like, like Matt here have been so freaking cool with helping manage these positions, jump on and ask questions. That's what we're doing. Does anybody have any questions about Lucid, about trade management or um, as far as do you want to get into the trade today? I don't know. I mean, I don't know why you'd want to get it in today, but you would weren't willing to get into it Monday. You know, like that doesn't make sense to me. And, and it's the same thought process that people who want to add a 25 here, but they're not willing to add a 25 the first time. In your mind, you feel more comfortable adding a 25 because you saw it for a 29. You have to understand that that's not real the market doesn't remember that it traded 29. Jonathan if I may add every yeah. single time I've done that in the past I've gotten screwed over well like not screwed over because it's my choice sorry I'm trading but the trade has always gone against me almost all the time whenever I do that I'm not willing to get in on the first bar but now that it's down okay now now I'm going to get in it's usually when I do that I'm wrong. It's like you know if we go back you know, all these different examples, if you're long here and you love it, it goes up here and then it pulls back. People buy more here. You're only allowed to buy more here if you sell something here. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, so, it's just you're just adding risk, adding risk, adding risk, burning theta, burning theta. 